Join me as your host, Roderick Swift, every Wednesday, Musicians Matters Podcast, live right here at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Positive Power, 21 Christian Media, LLC. Let's go! We have a show for you tonight. It's going to be an awesome show. But before we go to our show, I'm going to have some good words to get um, get across to you. We got uh, four, word, uh, four more months <clears throat> coming. It's Drum Clinic Uncut win- Winter Session with Bugsy Wil- Wilcox, the legendary Bugsy Wilcox, who played for drums um, with Marvin Gaye, for 14 years and has also performed and recorded with the Stevie Wonder, Ricky James, and Elton John, Paul McCartney, and more. And we're going to have uh, opening up for him is going to be Josiah Thomas, Hene Wilson, myself, and um, the MC is going to be Ronnie Thomas. And it's going to be at... Double D Entertainment Studio. That's going to be 101 West Brooks Street, Suite H, North Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're going to have, we have our sponsorships. It's, it's Gospel International. Uh, we have Jerry Royce live. We have Rico Pulse. We have um, the gas station studio. We have Fresh Wind, Mini- Fresh Wind Ministries. We have Stovall and Associates. You got to be there. Purchase your tickets on Eventbrite. It's, and it's going to be a Drum Clinic Uncut Winter Session with Bugsy Wilcox. Don't don't um, forget that January the 28th 2023 at 11am this is going to be a a nice session we're going to be getting uh, pocket presence uh, music business ear training and chops development now let's welcome my family the Brazil family how you doing? Hello. Great. Hi. Everybody's doing okay? Yes. yes. How's everybody's day today? It's been really good. Thank you. Very busy, but it was good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We're here to uh, talk about uh, Lady T. How you doing, the Lady T? Uh, I'm good. How are you? Awesome, awesome. This is your uh, one of your cousins from Las Vegas. You never met, but I know you'll be able to meet me as soon as possible. Let's yeah. talk about your industry, your music industry. Um, how long have you been um, singing? So um, I started singing probably... Uh, around like two years ago was when I first um, was recorded my first song, but I've been singing since um, I was I was pretty young. Um, I was I performed in musicals at school, um, so that was like the first time I really started singing. I guess yeah, and I was probably like seven years old. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, and yeah. Awesome. So what got you into it? Um, I started just thinking of songs in my head, like throughout the day I would be in school and I would just make things up. And then one day I was like, hmm, maybe I should write this down. So I started writing down the lyrics. And once I started taking um, guitar lessons and other musical lessons, um, I decided to put them all together and combine the, the words that I had written on the page with the music that I was learning and I eventually had a song, so that was that was really fun for me to create something. That was amazing. So I heard you talking about uh, guitar lessons. 
So do you play the guitar too? Yes, I do. Um, wow. I got my, my first guitar was given to me by um, my, my parents' colleagues, Steve and Norma. They were very generous. And um, I was around three years old when I got that guitar. Um, I've been playing the guitar for a while. And um, it's my favorite instrument. It's my instrument of choice. I'm also picking up the piano now. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, when, so, she, uh, when she got that guitar, it was bigger than she was. Yeah. For real? Yeah. Yes. Oh my, it's oh my Wow, I can imagine that. That that sounds like me when I was when I when I first started uh playing uh music, my my uh father, uh Robert Swift, he bought me um my first set of bongos. Okay, so mm-hmm. we started from the bongos. Um Move my set uh, um, myself up to drums. From drums, here I go. I've been playing uh, drums for forty six years now. It's been um, I'm oh, wow. I'm fifty years old now. Okay, okay. Nice. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a great experience, and I I will never uh, I will never turn that down for nothing. Mm-hmm. So, Lady T, so uh, uh, as far as your songs, what's your favorite songs that you like that you, that you you written basically? Oh, um, the my favorite song that I've written um, is probably "Daydreaming." Um, it's mm-hmm. about uh, my struggle and the beginning of the pandemic. Um, my struggle, like trying to stay awake in my classes and <laughs> focusing on everything and trying virtually. To, yes, my, my, my class is virtually in the beginning of the pandemic in 2020. Um, and just trying to somehow find joy, even though I was locked inside the house all day. And it, it, was, a, it was a new experience for everyone. So I think that that song can relate to a lot of, a lot of people can relate to that song. That is amazing. We all been through this pandemic. This pandemic was not no joke. Um, I've I've been playing, like I said, I've been playing drums ever since uh, for like 46 years, and I only play for the churches right now. And basically, out here, uh, the churches was closed, but my mm-hmm. church was still open. But the church that I was playing for at that time. It was uh, only doing, you know, online services, and what the way we would do the the services, we would come in on Saturday, we would do the songs, the worship songs, and then the the pastor would preach, and then they would pl- uh, play the service on Sunday. That's how my pandemic was. Mm-hmm. Wow! Wow! Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, um, as far as your, uh, your your guitar, uh, Lady T, um, how many strings do you have on on your your, your guitar? I, I have a guitar. As a matter of fact, my, 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 I'm looking at it right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got sixteen. I'm um, no, no. Excuse me. Six strings. Yes, yeah, I have six strings on my guitar as well. Yes. Yeah. And that's acoustic? Um, I have an acoustic and I have an electric guitar as well. Um, the acoustic was the one that was given to me um, right. when I was three years old. And then the electric I received for my birthday, I think well, two years ago or so, from my parents. And I'm so grateful. And it's pink, my favorite color. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> amazing, amazing, <laughs> amazing. Um, so as far as of... The 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 keys. I mean, on the the the, uh, the guitar. Do you know? Do you know the number game? Excuse me. I'm sorry. The reason why I'm saying that. Do you know? Um, do you uh, play your your uh, the, your your um, guitar? Your guitar. Do you play it in numbers? You know, because basically, like, say for instance, us as a musician, we we do play in numbers like say for instance um when i by me being a drummer um i could go up to like four fourths four eights four four sixteenths 
I can go to like the rhythms can go up and beyond with the drums. Um, uh, like with the guitar, I know when the musicians are playing, I hear a four, I hear a five, and I hear a six. You know, do you, do you do you know what I'm talking about now? Do you, you understand what I'm talking about now? Um, like the the numbers that come like after the tre- treble clef on like the time signature. Yeah, they, they um, call it the number game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. How are you good? Are you good with those numbers? I I haven't really um went too deep into that. Um, I I do know how to read music and read that's guitar a, that's music. That's amazing. Yes. That's amazing. So, that's the I, good I, part I can, about it. Yes. I can uh, read the sheet music for guitar and piano, and I can I'm, I can play piano and guitar by ear. So that's pretty cool. It's helpful if I if I don't know, um, like if I don't know the song because I don't have the sheet music for it. Like sometimes, if I listen to the song enough times, I can get down the notes and the chords. So. Amazing. That's amazing. That is really amazing because there's some musicians out here that doesn't know how to read music or whatsoever. Or and, and that's a plus for you. Mm-hmm. You know, when you can read music and you can hear by ear, you understand? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. So, as far as we, as a, you as a musician, um, what do you have to say to the world that's positive to to the world as a a young adult? Um, I really, in terms of music, correct? Yes. Um, I really want people to be able to listen to songs and see the emotion that the artist is giving through the, through the words and through the sounds of the music. Uh, I feel affected by music when I listen to it. Um, what does mm-hmm. that emotion be like sad or happy or joyful? I really love being able to connect with different songs, especially songs that I, I wouldn't think that I would like, but um, I really do. And mm-hmm. I, I want my songs I want people to be able to feel the same way about my songs. I want them to be able to relate to it, even if they can't necessarily relate to the specific situation that I'm singing about. I want them to be able to connect with the music. Amazing, amazing. Um, If you can go to any place in the world as a musician, where would it be? I think that I would like to go to... Um, LA or New York because there there are a lot of opportunities there. I, I went to LA this summer and I really loved the atmosphere and um, I know that it's a good place for that diversity in music and I think that I could just um, really blossom there because LA has a lot of potential and New York does as well. That's true. That's true. That's true. Do you like to listen to like uh, jazz music a lot? Um, I do listen to songs that have um that are, that are jazz inspired. Um, mm-hmm. So they might like have like, like neo soul, for example. That genre, neo soul music, it has jazz influences. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty fond of. That. So, yeah. Amazing. I like to listen to it too. Um, I like to listen to. Uh, um, Chick Corea, um, he was one of my um, one um, great jazz influence because uh, he 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 can take you to like uh, speaking of keyboard or key uh, pianos, he can take you in- anywhere on that piano. You, did you know? Um, mm. From A to B to C to D to E to F to G to back to A. 
um, A flat, uh, B flat, C sharp, D sharp, you know, stuff like that. He would take you different places that you would never have never been before. If you if you get a chance, look him up. It's, it's, it's called uh, Chick Career, and, and he has um, lessons or um, um, rest in heaven, um, Chick Career. He has lessons or, you know, that he taught to his community, you know, worldwide, you know. You can look, up, look, mm-hmm. look him up. Will do, will do. Thank you. Awesome. Um, I'm not gonna hold to you hold you too long, but what is what is your like um favorite quotes or you know, what do you like to um, quote like from the Bible or whatever? Uh I think that my favorite quote is probably one that my my father has told me since I was <laughs> since I can remember on as long as you can remember yes. since you were born. Um <laughs> he always tells me that fortune favors the bold. So in life, it's good to be bold and take bold choices because fortune will come to you. And I think that a lot of times I need to remember that advice if I feel insecure about releasing a song or um, taking certain opportunities, applying for certain things. And I think it's really important to remember that in life. I think that's awesome. Um, Thank you. Uh, is there anything that you want to ask um, mom or dad? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I, I just want to know what does she think is, is next for her in terms of her music career? Um, so currently um, I, I haven't been um, like I've, I I haven't really been searching for, um, like, music um, producers or, like, record companies, but if that's in my path and if they want to reach out, that would be lovely because I'm really looking forward to jump-starting my music career, and I'm very excited. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Another question? Yeah, so, so, yeah, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> how many songs do you have, and um, how many more are you going to do? <laughs> um, currently, I have uh, around six songs written, or I think I think I have seven seven songs written that I feel really proud of, and that I'd like to get out there and share with the world. Um, yeah. Okay, that's going to be amazing. Uh, uh, one Probably of my asked, questions. Husband, my husband asked all the questions I was going to ask, so I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, let me say this question, uh, family. Uh, what separates you from another musician, if I might ask that? Oh, no. So I, I'm supposed to answer. I think that um, my music, well, in today's age, I feel like a lot of the music is really focused on love and heartbreak and I think that's that's a common concept in music that's what most songs are about most songs are love songs or heartbreak songs but my songs they don't necessarily focus on that they're they're more um there's more more topics than just that like they talk about finding yourself and self-discovery and just the personal journey that you have with yourself and growing with yourself um, occasionally, some of my songs do feature topics like love, but I don't necessarily want that to be the main focus of my songs. I want my songs to be about the individual. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So uh, where can they reach you at or if that, if that's okay? Uh, do you have, like, Spotify or any the place that your 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 music is at the, the, or um, in the near future, let them know where they can uh, have uh, purchase your music at. So currently, I have um, my song "Daydreaming" released on SoundCloud. 
um, the, it's a website and it's also an app. It's free to listen to on the internet if you just want to use it on a browser. But my name on SoundCloud is Trinity Leia. So that's T R I N I T Y. And Leia is spelled L E Y A H. Amazing. Awesome. I really appreciate you for uh, coming on to the show. Now you know, uh, family, that you are always uh, welcome to the show anytime. But I know it's late in, in the um, in the evening time at your uh, in, on your neck of the woods. So, <laughs> and this time over here, it's just over here, just seven o'clock. So, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I do appreciate you for taking the time. Um, you know, just to be on this this show, Musicians Matters, and you know, you always can be welcome on this show. Just let me know, and um, did you I want just her appreciate to, did you. Want to hear the song? Huh? Did you want to hear the song a little bit? Did you want to hear the song a yeah, little if bit? You can, if you can play it a little bit. Sure. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, I'll go play ahead. It right now. All right, here it comes. you for allowing me to share it with you all. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. So uh you can like you, your cousin said you can come to this show anytime. Musicians Matter podcast and um, I'd like to thank uh Jerry Royce, Live Positive Power, Christian Media LLC, um 20, 20, 21 Christian Media LLC for being there as a true brother and a true friend in Christ. And I would like to thank Tyler Gaston, the gas station recording studio, for all of my engineering work done for this show and all of the other clinics that's been done. And it says, Now faith is the substance for things hoped for in the evidence and the things not seen. Hebrews 11 and 1. Be blessed. You too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Join me as your host, Roger Swift, every Wednesday. Musicians Matters podcast live right here at six thirty p.m. Pacific Standard Time, nine thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Positive Power. 21 Christian Media LLC. Let's go! You are listening to Jewish Live Worldwide Podcast.